Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying all the problems that I am uploading. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe and also share among your friends. So today's problem from lead code is maximum score after splitting a string. Given a string of s, a string of s of zeros and ones, written the maximum score after splitting the string into two non-empty substrings. That is left substring, left substring and right substring. The score after splitting a string is the number of zeros in the left substring plus the number of ones in the right substring. So we have we are given with a string. We have to split into two parts, basically left and right, and both should be non-empty. That means at least one character should be there in each of the strings under the left subtree and right subtree. Okay, and the score is uh, number of zeros plus number of ones. So that is what is. Uh, we need to calculate. So number of zeros in the left substring plus number of ones in the right substring. Okay. So wherever the score is maximum, that is what the maximum score that we need to written uh, as the output. So let's go ahead and understand the problem a little bit more with uh, example one, right? So here uh, the string length is um, six characters. So we could split in like five different ways, I suppose, right? Uh, one, five, that means left substring has one character, right substring has five characters. One, five, two, uh, four, three, three, four, two, five, one. So those are the combinations that are possible, right? So basically, we are required to have at least one character in the left substring or one character in the right substring so they sh those should be non-empty as per the definition right so non-empty means it we can start with one so one five two four three three uh, four two five one so those are the possible substrings again right so that is what here uh, he's looking so left is zero that is uh, single right one character and right is five characters so the score is five so left is two characters right is four characters score is four Left is three characters and right is three characters. Score is three. Left is four and right is two. Left is five, right is one, right? So that is where we are splitting. And the score calculation is number of zeros in the left substring and number of ones in the right substring. So that's the reason why how many number of zeros are there? One. How many number of ones are there here? Um, four, right? So that's why the score is five. So here in this calculation, I mean, in this five different steps, the number of uh, zeros and ones the score is five that is a maximum so we need to return five as the answer that is the output so this is a, um, a pretty simple problem what we are going to do is uh, we are going to keep track of the number of zeros and number of ones while we go through the array so the strategy that we are going to use here is from uh, you traverse from right to left ones and you travel from left to right ones so there are two traversals that we are going to use so one is we traverse from left to right and count the number of zeros and we traverse from right to left and count the number of ones because le the left sub string should be ha should be uh, taken for zeros number of zeros right and from the right substring we are taking the number of ones that's the reason why when we go from left to right, we count zeros. When we go from right to left, we go count from count ones. So once we have the zeros and ones in place, right, then we will, we will be going through those counts and maximizing the score, right? So that's what the approach we are going to follow. Let's, let's go and jump into the code and we will try to um, look at an example also, right? So, so here, maximum score, we are passed with a uh, string s, right? So I'm taking n as the string length and I'm declaring two arrays, so zeros and ones. So these are going to store the counts of zeros at ith position and counts of ones at ith position in each of these uh, integer inter arrays, okay? And uh, I'm initializing two counts, count of zeros and count of one to zero. Okay, initialize to zeros. So now 
so this for this for loop is going from left to right okay so it is going from zero to the length right so this for loop is going to give us the number of zeros that occurred at each position right the cumulative number of zeros occurred till that position right so if at all s of i is equal to zero right this is a character remember we cannot put an integer here zero so this is a character right and we increment the zeros right and put that count into the corresponding zeros position array right so that's what it will have and then the next for loop we are going to calculate the number of ones that is what we are doing so this time we are moving from right to left of the array right so we are starting at the array length minus one and going on to zero right so we are going from right to left in a backwards but here we are trying to count the number of ones right after these for loops executed right so now we know how many zeros are there in the zeros array how many ones are there in the ones array at ith position right so the split happens uh, as we know if it is a six character array right it starts from one five two four three three four two five one right because left substring and right substrings are non-empty that means at least one character should be there so now we are trying to calculate the maximum score right so for int i is equal to 0 i is less than string length, length i plus plus so we are going through that string length, length again right so, but here we are not actually going through the string length anyway so you could just replace this string length with n because we have already calculated n right so we, we are not going through n at all right so you could do this right and in that we are trying to calculate the maximum score in initialize the maximum score to zero to start with and then if i plus one is less than n so basically we are going to uh, do a split right so if i plus one is less than n what we are going to do is count of zeros till ith position plus count of ones at i plus one position if you add that whatever the score that you obtain and take the maximum score right for the with the max if, if it is greater than the existing max you just take the max score right update the max score basically otherwise your ex existing max score is a max score so finally it goes through this uh, you're going to return the max score so let's try to uh, go ahead go through an example right so this one and try to understand what uh, we are actually doing so let's say our string is this right so we have one array and we have zeros array right so, uh, since we are doing it the opposite way so let me take this right okay so so since zeros we are going through left to right right so so for zeros array what we are going to fill here is and this this for loop right so we are going to fill it as to start with z at zero position it is one right and at one position it's still one second one third one fourth it became two one so that's what the zeros array will have right so the maximum zeros that you'd see are two right so that second zero occurred at this position that means one two zero one two three fourth position zero one two three fourth position right so that is zeros array and let's go to ones array right ones right so you start from the right so right you have one and uh, still one and two right three right four right and four right so this will be the one array so we remember we are doing it opposite right from right to left so so this is the number of ones occurred right right so now what we are going to do with these ones and zeros arrays so let's copy down these two arrays right one more time just to understand in a better position right so now this is just a so max score max score right so max score is zero to start with now so we are going from zero right in the for loop zero and zero plus one and zero zero and one so 
zero sub zero plus one sub one. So one plus four, right? Right? One plus four is five. So max max of one max of zero comma one plus four. That means is five, right? So that's what we obtained. And next we move on, right? One. 3 1 plus 3 is 4 so since it is 4 is not greater than 5 we don't update it and then 1 plus 2 still it is not greater we don't update it. 1 plus 1 we don't update 2 plus 1 we don't update so the maximum score that we obtain is 5 5 is the answer so finally 5 is the answer we are going to return so the key is to accumulate the uh, number of zeros and number of ones the only trick here is you have to accumulate the number of zeros from left to right and number of ones from right to left. So once you get that logic right, you, you're done. That's it. So let's go ahead and look at the time complexity for this algorithm, right? So we are going, let's say, let's say the, num the length of the string is n, right? That we are doing. So we're going to talk in, in terms of n, okay? So, so the length of the string is n. So we are going through this length of the string almost three times, right? So here in this for loop from left to right and in this for loop from right to left and in this for loop, right? So this is essentially order of n plus order of n plus order of n. So totally the time complexity is order of n, right? So let's go ahead and write that down. So time complexity, time is order of n, where n is the length of the uh, string, right? And let's look at the space, right? Space. What is the space that we are do using? So it is order of n. Let's go and look at why it is order of n, right? So we are using two arrays. Zeros is one array and ones is one array, right? So both are of the length n. So if you add two uh, length n's, right? So it will become two n. So order of two n, literally, right? So that is a space complexity, right? So if you take the constants out, right, as uh, we remove the constants from the big go notation right so it is actually order of 2 n but we don't have we don't actually carry the constants when we say big o notation that's why we say finally the space complexity is order of n so this algorithm is order of n times complexity and order of n space complexity if you still have any questions please uh, leave them in the comment section below the video i'll get back to you as soon as i can uh, I would like to remind you again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and share among your friends. Also, please don't forget to click the bell icon. If you click the bell icon, you would get the notifications for all my future videos. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, goodbye.